Magandang araw muli sa ating mga manonood. Welcome to another episode of Sili Pinoy. Ngayong araw at ngayong araw, isang abogado, TV host at film producer at direktor ang makakasama natin ngayon. Mula sa pagbibigay ng legal advice na libre sa telebisyon, napunta siya sa pagpuproduce ng mga modernong klasikong pelikula gaya ng Cubrador at ang babae sa septic tank. Mga kaibigan, ikinagagalak ko na makasama ngayong araw si Attorney Joji Alonso. Sa so, magandang araw. Attorney so, Joji. <laughs> Hello, Gigi and Patrick. Hello. From producing the indie film, Cobrador, you eventually entered the industry with more commercial fare like English only, yung mga hit natin, Here Comes the Bride, Dalawang Mrs. Reyes. Yes. At walang... Hashtag walang forever. Walang forever. Napaka. Wala nga bang forever. Big hit. Wala. Wala ka ta. Totoo ba yun? Wala eh. Okay, okay. Yes, Attorney Georgie. Um, medyo, ano, medyo malaking debate yun nung una. Why I was um, trying to go mainstream, the go the mainstream route. Pero sinabi ko kasi sa sarili ko, Mahirap naman na puro indie ang pinuproduce, tapos more often than not, hindi naman talaga bumabalik yung pera. Mm -hmm. So we have to find a way na sana maka-generate ng income and through the process, utilize that money to fund films that you really want to make. So true enough, like when I did um, Here Comes the Bride, yung kinita ko doon, part of it finand ko sa pag-produce ng debut film ni Bing Lau, yung Biyaheng Lupa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So ganon, para siyang give and take. Oh, yung... Pero yung Cobrador, anong nakuha mo doon? Um, uh, bringing out uh, Cobrador was... Uh, yeah, Cobrador is... Diba? Ano? Critically acclaimed, etc. And, and it started an entire everything. thing, right? Yes. Um, proudly, yes. <laughs> ang hirap, ang hirap. <laughs> um, in terms of finances, wala. Hindi... Oh. Konti na lang siguro, babalik na yung puhunan, pero hindi pa rin talaga. Um, I try to go via the festival route, may magbabayad ng 200 euros, 200 euros. Well, pag pinagsawa mo siya, kahit papano, pag naipon mo na siya, papunta naman ng pa-break even na. But it's not like it's a money-making thing. Mm, um, psychic rewards. Wala talaga. I But think, uh, I, will, mm. I have never regretted making that film. I almost lost my house because sinanla ko to finish the okay. film. <laughs> Ganun ako parati pag wala ng pera, kawawang bahay, sinasanla ko yan para lang tapusin. But the joy that it brings, not only just to me, Jeffrey Bing, and Gina Pareño, but really to the country, lalo na it's the first film ever na nanalo ng dalawang Fipreski Awards. Wow. I will always ano, treasure Absolutely. that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, ang daming magandang ongkatin doon. You mentioned some names and we will go there in a bit. Pero tama ba ako ng memory? I remember hearing you sometime uh, around that time, 2006, 2007, na yes. uh, isa to sa pinakamaraming naikot na pelikula na yes. festival. So ilang festivals bang tinutukoy? Hindi ko na, na talaga nabibilang, honestly. Pero ang alam ko, umabot na kami ng almost 200. 200. So, pag festival, sinong nagbabayad ng pamasahe, um, producer ba yan? Depende yan, G. Like, oh. for example, the, the premiere that we had, the world premiere that we had in Moscow, mm. um, they paid for the airfare. Business class pa, eh, si Gina at si Jeffrey. Mm. I had to pay for my own <laughs> airfare when I went there para lang to lend oh, support. Yes. And then, um, they also provided uh, a hotel room accommodations for, again, for the lead actress and the director. Yung producer parate wala. Bahala ka sa buhay mo. <laughs> In other festivals, naman they're very ano generous. They would fly you in and they would give you accommodations, but siguro mga one percent lang yon. Most of the time, you really have to spend your own money. Kaya madugo siya. Yeah, magastos. But would you say that it's important to bring around your your film? Kasi yun yung ano eh pag maganda yung pelikula mo, madaming imbitasyon, etc. Tapos, pag uh, hindi ka pupunta, hindi mapapansin. Totoo. How siguro, is it, di ba? Siguro, exceptional, di ba yung, yun eh. exceptional din yung case because 2006, and I guess, kung naka-200 festivals ka hanggang mga 2008 or 2009. Up, up to now. Up to no? now, no? Uh, meaning, isa to sa mga unang pelikula ng period na yun, di ba? Yes. Na, uh, only now does it become really, ano, you know, commonplace that people mm. go to the festival. So, how important was it, these festivals? Or maybe, uh, in a field na hindi... 
hindi pa ganon yung practices no no so mm -hmm. and the invitations are coming to you sa how did you view it sa akin kasi first time ko na naka participate talaga sa maraming festivals mm -hmm. minsan pa which was my first film did participate pero konte lang mga dalawa or tatlo but ko brother was like crazy parang mm -hmm. invitations mm -hmm. left and right ang malikod don kumuha kami ng agent and the agent dealt with a number of the festivals. Sila yung nangongolekta ng 1,000 euros per screening na hindi namin alam. Oh Tapos my. they never gave us anything. May utang pa nga daw kami sa kanila eh. Kasi pinromote daw nila yung pelikula. So, oh. uh, in reality, so, less is less <laughs> talaga. Madami. You know, Actually, magandang for every film, <laughs> meron ka matututunan na lesson talaga. Mm -hmm. Pero interesting din para sa akin dahil yun nga, isa sa mga una yung cobrador. No? And then, eventually, the question of... Um, do you send it to festivals because it's a festival film, right? At this time, I can imagine hindi pa yun issue, no? Um, but we can say it's one of those early films that started this trend, no? Um, uh, what, do, what are your views on that? Uh, making films for the festival audience. To take uh, that Is that, is that uh, um, something that uh, uh, you would do or have done? <laughs> sa akin kasi... I make films for the Filipinos. Eh. Dapat ganon ang attitude. It's it's for us. Now, if it's something that the foreigners will appreciate, salamat. Nagkataon lang siguro in the case of Cubrador because it was uh, talking about corruption and and uh, the difficulties of the people. The uh, you know Gina uh, Pareño representing actually a lot of Filipinos in the same struggle. Na nagustuhan nila. Like in mm. Moscow, nalaman namin ganun din yung sitwasyon nila sa Moscow. Kaya mm. they feel they love the film. Mm. So in in Spain, actually the country that really invited the most Cubrador was Spain. Parang lahat na lang ata ng festival sa Spain na puntahan ng pelikula, ini-invite siya parate. Uh, maybe they were they were really um um happy to note that a lot of the words that we use in the film come from the Spanish, Spanish. Oh, language. Oh, that's so, right. that's parang right. may connection somehow. So, interesante yan, what you're saying now, kasi parang may shift ka eh. May, may shift ang nangyari sa'yo, then you came out with uh, highly big hits, you know, Chamba English lang. only, <laughs> yung ganon. Here comes a bride, dalawang Mrs. Reyes, wala, hashtag walang forever. So, w was it a conscious shift in a sense um, kasi na di ba sinanla mo <laughs> and you don't want to go through that again siguro um, that's why <laughs> iba rin kasi yung okay masaya ka pag marami kang awards masaya ka pag marami kang festivals na napupuntahan pero ang lungkot-lungkot pag nasa sinihan ka na pwedeng mag skateboarding ang mga tao sa loob uh -huh. Uh -huh. na walang tao <laughs> so at the back of my mind as a producer syempre i also think uh, as a side ng producer um, di kaya masaya din na makakaproduce ka na isang pelikula na umaapaw yung tao sa loob na talaga ang ingay-ingay ng movie. It's more of a dream, I guess, that I wanted to also achieve. Mm. So, yon um, nag-attempt akong gumawa ng mainstream na pelikula. Pero if you will note, the kind of films that I've made na pang mainstream, merong something in it na outside the box parate. Mm -hmm. I don't limit myself to the normal drama, iyakan, sampalan, the whole galore. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be stuck to that. I want to offer something new with every film that I make. Whether it's um, f um, alternative or if it's mainstream. Yeah. Dapat may bago parate. And um, we were very lucky with Here Comes the Bride kasi um, madaling magpaiyak pero mahirap magpatawa. And... Ang ganda-ganda ng material because even if it's funny, there are lessons learned like desires of people. You want love in the case of um, the Yaya in the story. Mm. I'm sorry, the, the case of the Ninang in the story. And then in the case of the Yaya, she wanted money to help her family. Mm. Yung old man naman wanted youth kasi he still wanted to enjoy his life. Tapos the gay person naman wanted a, to become a girl. So may kanya-kanya silang desires and what are the results when you get something that you want so badly would you want to hold on to it despite the fact like yung yaya naging lalaki na siya na matan na matanda pero ang yaman niya so yun yung mga parts doon na um i will never sacrifice so do you want to go back to oh so flashback flashback siguro um so you mentioned minsan pa no so sa akin interesting din the first film yun because it's actually a very beautiful film 
quite lengthy for ano no for uh, for a film nung time na yon um, but at the same time i guess marami na hindi nakakaalala nung pelikula napakaganda nung pelikula pero ano no um, it didn't I, i'm assuming it was in a big hit no so ba bakit yun ang unang pelikula um, sa pagtransition mo from uh, doing what you are really TV doing and, no? um, and doing then bakit minsan pa uh, what was that uh, what was in the material That's 10 years before i produced minsan pa in 2004 which was 1994 um nagkukwentuhan kami no ni na Bing Lau and Jeffrey Jaturian at the time cuz i was then producing legal forum i was hosting legal forum and for many who don't know, that was the same year that we produced a movie for television, which was eventually shown on RPN9, which was written by Bing Lau and directed by the late Ishmael Bernal. Wow. So I was very fortunate to have worked with him, kahit namutik na kaming tapuna ng base, ng bass. <laughs> um, ikalawang, um, sorry, the original title was supposed to be Ikalawang Yugto, but we eventually changed it to Karugtong ng Bukas. So this starred Pinky De Leon and Aga Mulak. And during that conversation, I was, I was sharing with them na ako, ako talaga, gusto, gusto ko mag-direct. Since I was in third grade, I've been saving my baon. I wouldn't, you know, my parents would allow me to commute going home. And I would save my baon each time. Um, I would ride the jeepney one way only. And then the second jeepney ride, I would, I would rather walk. So I'd save the money to watch a movie on a weekend. And my sister would always get mad at me kasi gusto gusto niya ng John Travolta and the like. Ako naman gusto ko ng mga minsa isang gamo-gamo, tinimba ko ng kulang. Nandoon ako sa weird daw ako. Bakit daw yun ang gusto ko? But ever since I saw my nila sa mga kuko ng liwanag, in that particular scene that Bembol was being beaten and you don't see anything. Grabe, talagang sabi ko, my god, this is such a powerful medium. Gusto ko tong gawin. Then I realized ko, hindi ko kaya mag-direct. Ang hirap-hirap pala. Nanonood ako kay Jeffrey noon. Say, oh my God, hindi ko kaya yan. How to lead these people, how to do this and all that. That's not something I'm capable of doing. So sabi ko, sige, mag-produce na lang ako. So nag-start ako with the telesine. And then sabi ko, sige, bigyan niyo ako sampung taon. Mag-iipon ako. And then we will make the movie. Pero gusto ko love story, ha? Ganun pa. Ganun pala pa. Yung minsan <laughs> yung pa. Pala. Love story. <laughs> and then only to realize, sabi ko, naisahan ako doon, ha? Hindi yung love story, ha? <laughs> <laughs> ano pala siya about a man's journey. But yes. it was a beautiful film. It but is. I will was, never it forget it because I lost more than 20 million in that oh, film. Wow. As in lifetime savings ng pamilya ko na ubos. So maybe that's another reason, Patrick, why I would like to produce films that would make money para naman meron pa naman ako ipapamana sa mga anak ko balang araw. Wala na eh. Sa ito, sa ito talaga. So yun, thinking about that money in 2004, no, 20 million, would have stopped anyone from making another film. No? Yeah. Uh, meaning, para matalo ng ganun kalaki. No? And yet, your follow-up was an equally independent effort. No? So, <laughs> ano yun, what was the driving force behind? You know, uh, Wala, yeah. nung nabasa ko yung Treatment pa lang yun, ha? hindi pa lang script ng Kubo Brothers. Sabi ko, shit, gusto kong gawin to. Ang ganda eh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hindi ko explain. Mm -hmm. Parang um, other people, ang fantasy nila makabili ng bahay na malaking malaki. Ako, ang late lang naman ng bahay ko. Ang, ang iba, gusto gusto nila magaga magagarang kotse. Ako, simple lang naman sa sakyan ko. But the desire, yung, yung gusto kong gawin, is to use my money to make a film. Parang ganun yung mindset ko at the time. So when I read the treatment, sabi ko, naku, we have to do this. Tapos ang sabi nila sa akin, 2M lang daw yun. Sa awan ng Diyos, umabot kami 5M. <laughs> <laughs> Pero they pitched to you. So your relationship with Bing and Jeffrey, matagal na, no, mahaba yes. na. So oh, oh, oh. I assume from the telecine time, no? Yes. And, and even prior to that, Jeffrey was my director for Legal Forum oh, okay. when I started. Okay. Ako yung guinea pig niya. Okay. Uh -oh. Oh, and, uh -oh. and therefore, yung mga material na yun, um, uh, do they come to you with material and ask to be produced or how is the process like? Yes, uh, that up okay. to now. May they... input ka ba dun sa, uh, or do you trust them fully with, okay, here's the money to make Cobrador, make it or? Dati ganun ako. Um, uh, we get the line producer, ano yung cost natin, so sige, let me know. And I, I just release the funds, but now no more, mas hands-on na ako kasi ilang beses na ako na loko eh. <laughs> so ngayon na uh, you are mature enough. Yes. <laughs> so I would just move into oh. the 
Ano yung uh, motivation mo? At saka ano yung nakita mo na worth it to make these films? Na popular siya pero merong something siguro, else, no? no? Oh, oh. That you want to put in. Ano yan, ano yung, G? Um, oh. Wala siyang dekahon na, na formula. Like, wala siyang English set only, rules. Please. In English only, please. Diba? Um, Paano ba yun nangyari? Um, I was given the concept. We wanted to make something na parang Korean ang dating. Light lang, masaya, and all. And then, nung nabasa ko yung initial script, tawa ko ng tawa. Sige ko, ang saya naman ang pelikulang to. Sige, gawin natin. And we never imagined that it would be a success. Not at all. Sabi ko nga noon, makabawi lang ako, masayang masaya na ako. So, <laughs> parang ano, alam ko yung ibig sabihin nun na yung parang wala namang formula to, for big hit eh. Wala, Hindi, wala. Suddenly lang, pang, it will come. So, you diba? don't do like uh, contemporary uh, practice ngayon? is like uh, audience uh, research? Uh, or is this like parang intuitive lahat na... Ang dami namang nagagawa ng ganyan, pero hindi naman na sila nagsasucceed eh. There's a gut feel. Ganito yun. I read a script, I like it, and then, oh sige, gawin natin yan. When I see the movie, I have this, I can sense if the film will make money or not. Maraming beses na yan, like... A long time ago, it's not my film. The John Lloyd Sarah Heronimo very first partnership. Na invite ako sa movie premiere. So ang mga usap-usapan nong magwork kaya yung movie with a combination. Parang ang sabi hindi, hindi, hindi. Nung napanood ko yung pelikula, say ko wow. You knew, you knew. Kiki tato, ganon ka agad. Alam mo eh, hindi ko alam how. But siguro sa kakapanood ko na, alam ko na pag magwork. Oh, now you can feel it, de ba? From all the Art films, and there are art films. Because you can call it, you know, may may political statement, etc., etc. And then suddenly go into this. Alam ko kikita to, de ba? Yung shift na yon sa akin parang for survival ba yon? Kasi nga di ba sunod-sunod na medyo talo tayo kanya. Pero will there be a point na? Ah, alis ka na naman doon o you're, you're, you're happy with this? O oh, parang comfortable. Um, oh, comfort uh, zone ba to? Kung oh, kaya ganawa, kong no? gawin, I'd like to do both. Like um, like this Metro Manila Film Festival, I have the girl in the orange dress. Nung pinabasa sa akin ni Jay Abelio yung script, hindi ko mabitawan. Aliw na aliw ako kasi it's, it's ano again, it's everything happens in one day. How can you make a rom-com that everything happens in one day? So it's again a very different approach it's not the usual fare so na excited akong gawin siya and then at the same time hindi ko nakakalimutan like all the, over the years i've supported a lot of cinemalaya films pero hindi ko pinapalagay yung pangalan ko <laughs> kasi ang daming luwalapit eh ang daming um o oh, fund ganito ganyan may pelikula po kami attorney kailangan namin ng 1 million parang gusto ko sabihin wow so, may patago so, kayo it's like an advocacy for you di ba so when i like something yes uh -huh. it 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 changes everything when i like something it changes everything um like ano the late francis pashon when yes, he gave me right. his material sampagita, for sampagita no? and yeah. and for jay I'm sorry, not Jay. Sorry, um, not Jay. Uh, the last one. Buakaw? Bag, uh, ah. Not Buakaw. Uh, Buakaw is June Lana. Eh. Uh, sorry, uh, um, Buaya pala. Buaya. 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 Okay. When he, <laughs> Sounds the same. Sounds the same. Yeah, let so, me know. Okay. <laughs> when, he, I, when he presented the material to me, nagustuhan ko siya. Say ko, sige, mm -hmm. sige Francis, tulungan kita. Hindi lang ganun kalaki, but I will help. Yon. And then uh -oh. si Jason Laksamana, when he presented to me the script of Babagwa, ah, gustong gusto Babagwa. ko siya. Sabi ko, sige Elika, gawin natin to. Puro parating ganun. Pag, pag nabasa ko at nagustuhan ko, hindi ako makatanggi. Siguro tanong natin uh, yung, yung quantum films. Yeah. Oo, oh, so, kasi ano na yan? What is it? Oo, oh, diba? So, <laughs> you started producing. No? Pero kailan <laughs> nagka-come into being itong quantum? And um, what does it do? Is it production, post-production? Is it post uh, okay. is it? Well, I started producing in 2004. Uh -huh. So, that was, you know, um, it was still under my son's name, MLR Productions. And then, um, sabi nga ni... Si Bing my mentor forever. <laughs> Sabi ni Bing, mag-isip ka pa ng isa pang name na mas, 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 eh, kasi M, M, uh, MLR were the initials of my son. So sabi niya, dapat hindi ka magsistick ng personalized para maging mas corporate daw ang dating. And then, 
uh, he was even the one who suggested quantum. Okay. Qua after Sibing it's a quantum yan, leap. Parang ganon. Mm. You, you set aside everything, you just jump. <laughs> ganon. Oh. So that's how it was established. It's a very small outfit. It's a, a private, it's a family thing. And um, we ventured into post-production in 2013. Mm -hmm. Kasi noon at the time, because of Carlo, manatad naman. Sabi niya, attorney, alam mo, sayang itong mga Mac mo, yung mga high-end na Mac, dalawa yung machine. Sabi niya, magagamit natin, mag-edit. Sige, sige, gamitin nyo ng gamitin. So nagkaroon na kami ng partnership, he and his team. And um, sabi ko nga, since I don't know anything about this, whatever project we have, you get 70%, it's your income, wow. and then Quantum will get 30%. Tapos yung kami, I provide them with an office, I provide them with all the machines, I provide them with messengers and a, a coordinator. So meron silang staff na matatakbuhan. Pero sila talaga nagpapatakbo niyan, so, hindi ako nakikialam. So mainly post-production? Um, yung post, and then films, tuloy-tuloy. Okay. But um, hindi kami like um, we have retained directors, walang ganon. Basta pag may dumating... Parang per project, yes. lumalabas. Oo, so, ganon. Yes. Uh, how about, ano, uh, mabalik ako doon sa whole idea nitong mm. ba balance, ano. Um, uh, babae sa septic tank, no? So, it has a certain view uh, of this notion of indie cinema, right? Yes. So, yun yung pinaka crux niya. I remember just a bit of anecdote, no? So, when I saw it in UP, for example, where most of the people understand ko anong nil yes. pinupok na uh -uh. fun no everyone's laughing talaga no and uh nag breakthrough siya di ba nag uh, naka naka break out siya into mainstream and the different audience was responding differently no uh, mm. to, to Eugene's uh, levels of acting ganyan no? um is this a is this a philosophy or a view of indie cinema that you share meaning Kasi it's, it's, it's a, a kind of, criti of uh... Uh, a critical <laughs> look at how independent <laughs> cinema <laughs> operates um, I think... And sustained siya, two parts na siya. Was that you right? and, or was that um, Chris? Chris, yan. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yun, yun, si Chris eh. talaga the, yan. The sarcastic view of indie films oh, okay. and, and, I, and the poverty, uh, you know, porn yes. and all that. And it's interesting oh, because you've oh, produced kasi both kinds. Ano no? yeah. Yeah. Actually, ano, yung first kasi, yun na nga, it's a, we were poking fun on the indie, indie world, how directors will make films for the festival, sige, poor, uh, poverty porn ka to no end. Yung second naman was our, ano, we were poking fun on rom-coms. Uh -oh. uh -oh, yun mm -hmm. naman yun. That's right. Uh -oh. So basically, it's Chris' imagination that's at work in these films, in, in writing the material. And yun, again, a repetition, pag binasa mo kasi yung script na sinusulat niya, hindi mo na bibitawan. Mm -hmm. Tatawa ka na lang ng tatawa. Uh -oh. and, and this idea na ano, no? um, uh, a film, making fun, or you know, a meta film, no, um, is also kind of a version of this new notion of main dinaman, no. So, uh, and I'm I'm going to imagine, laki laki ng and, I mean, the work that you produce, no, is somewhere in the middle, di ba? Na, yeah. uh, you know, it's for it's for a, gen, a larger audience, but it's not necessarily for. Them. Um, ano naman na tingin mo rito? Do you aim for like uh, middle? Uh, um. Uh, Main D or these strange words that are. <laughs> <laughs> Ako, I don't. I don't call it main D. Eh. Oh, I call sige. it alternative mainstream. Ah, <laughs> it's a mixture okay, yeah. of alternative okay, and okay, mainstream. Yeah. Can, can you say a little bit more? So, pano oh, mo alternative na na. <laughs> ano siya ang tina target mo talagang audience is the mainstream crowd but you want to offer something different in each material that you make so yun nga like uh, dalawang Mrs. Reyes um, that for me is an alternative mainstream product kasi it talks about when when you speak about two Mrs. Reyes ang una mo isipin ah kabit yung isa tapos may legal wife kanon pero ang nangyari doon the two Mrs. Reyes were not even related and they met each other because their two husbands were having an affair and have decided to leave both of them. So, uh, you can't come across that in the mainstream fair, eh. Hindi yeah. siya ganun, eh. When I read it, sabi ko, uh, I think June Lana sent that to me at about almost quarter to 12. Sabi ko, bukas ko na to babasahin. Then, the usual, me na-excite. Sige, basahin ko na, tapos tatapusin ko tomorrow. Sa awan ng Diyos, hindi ko na binitawan. <laughs> <laughs> Tinapos ko na siya, tapos yun yeah. na. Sabi ko, let's do this. This is so exciting. Now that I'm hearing you, kasi parang bold, Bold, bold decisions eh. Yung mga, di ba? 
Kasi kung follower ka lang, oh, mainstream, ito ang hit ngayon, gawin natin ito, kasi hit yan ngayon. Pero ito, you're looking for something different. Yeah, not only different, but it's really going against the grain somehow, of the mainstream. Yeah, somehow. Kaya ano, alternative ulit? Ano Alter alternative mainstream. Alternative <laughs> mainstream, okay. Oh, throw that into the ano. Uh, <laughs> Mag-shift mag ako sa exciting part ng buhay niya ngayon because nag-direct siya. Remember you told us, noong pa gusto mo na mag-direct. Yes. So finally, you directed Last Order. Yes. At ang ganda pa, yung anak mo disappearing. <laughs> ang galing kaya. Oo, <laughs> ang galing ng anak mo umante. I wanted to work with so, him. So, <laughs> tell us about that experience. Um, matagal na yan actually na binuo ko yung konsepto. I, I joined the script writing workshop of Bing Lau at uh, Treehouse in, ano, in... Uh, ano bang tawag dito? Ano bang kali ito sa UP Village area? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, during that time, we were asked to submit uh, a concept kung ano yung pwedeng gawin. Sabi ko, Bing, ako hindi ko pa kayang mag-feature. So, siguro kung gagawa ko ng short film, gusto kong gumawa ng... Tapos tinitingnan ko yung treehouse. Uh, kwento ng isang empleyado na magsasara ng restaurant. O, oh, maganda yan. Approve. Uh, ganun ka agad yung kanyang sagot sa akin. Kasi ganun siya eh. Pag mag mag-suggest ka ng concept, he will say if it's good or not. So, ayun. That was in 2011, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. And then, sabi ko, sige, gagawa akong short film. And then, yung takot, yung fear na baka hindi ko kaya. Yun parate ang nagpe-prevent sa akin from pursuing that, that, that dream of um, directing. And then nabuhay yan two years ago when we were in Cannes. I produced the film, the short film of Carlo Manata, Jody Lurks de la Cruz. Mm -hmm. And um, during our discussion over dinner, kinwento ko yun na, ay hindi, si Carlo pala yun nagsabi, Attorney, gawin mo na kasi yung short film mo. Say ko, hindi eh, nakakatakot. Tapos, tinanong ako nung producer namin from Singapore, si Ling Tiong, what it was all about. So, we were sharing. And then, right there and then, naiba na yung kwento. Kasi ito, dapat uuwi siya ng bahay. No, mas maganda if you just shoot everything inside the the restaurant mm. for one one day. O nga, no, tapos magsasara, tapos that's it. Tapos, suggestion naman, hindi, lagyan natin ng economics na yung uh, fast food industry, pinapatay yung mga maliliit na restaurants. <laughs> o nga, no, pwede. Ganun. So, doon na buo yung idea. And then, dinagdagan ko pa, sabi ko, gusto kong mag one long take. <laughs> oh one long take. I was gonna tell you <laughs> oh, that. Mo, gusto oh. ko siyang gawin kasi oh. parang I, I want the whole thing to appear na para siyang docu kind of thing. It's not really a movie, but we're just watching a life unfold that particular yeah, day. Right. So, yun. Um, sabi ko, let's do this. Tapos, ang aking DOP dapat was supposed to be Tech uh, Shang, uh, Tech Shang, and uh, the husband of Ling Tiong, but he was not available on the date that I chose. So, i move daw muna namin. Sabi ko, sa line producer ko, Pat, alam mo, pag nilipat pa natin to, hindi, na hindi ko na naman to isushoot. Kilala ko yung sarili ko. It's either we do this on this day or not. So, we'll urgently, naghanap kami ng, ano, ng papayag na mag-DOP. Unfortunately, Dexter de la Peña agreed. And I think he was the perfect person to do it. Kasi Dexter is petite. So, na-imagine ko kung si Tech yung nag-shoot noon, ang laki-laki niya ka, babangga siya. But <laughs> for follow action, follow action. Oo, oh, mahihirapan siya. But because Dexter was um, petite, mm -hmm. mas madali, mas makakasingit-singit siya doon sa pagbukas ng pinto and all that. So, sabi ko, ayun, talagang everything fell into place. So, shinot ko siya in one day. We had uh -huh. 16 takes. 16 takes. May pang 17 gonna... <laughs> pa dapat yun. Pero uh -huh. sabi ni Dexter, attorney, nanghinginig na yung tuhod ko. Hindi uh -huh. ko na pagod, kaya. Pagod. Hindi na niya kaya. Uh -huh. Kasi we didn't use a steady cam Because pag steady cam, masyado siyang steady. Gusto namin yung movement yeah, talagang. Yeah, that's right. Ano lang siya, parang handicam effect. Pero mabigat. Actually, the, the aesthetics reminds me of ano, no? Yung... Uh, yung Bing, Jeffrey, ano, yes. no? pero iba, yes. iba yung milieu actually, pero no? so suddenly it's a different mm. world. No? But, yes. And I, I sense, ano, no? kind of influence there as well. No? So tama ba? Yes. Am I sensing correctly? Na Meron, definitely. Like no? Jeffrey, um, 
may mga sinadya siyang characters na ipasok ko to mirror the closing restaurant. Yeah. Mga ganon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and ano, no? from, from this uh, directorial debut, uh, nanalo na yung pelikula, <laughs> nakapag-ikot ng mga festival. So how does that feel, no? From mm. wanting to direct to taking um, the detour of producing and... Are now, we expecting a, uh, a long feature? Yeah, Cinemalaya. Oh, di ba? <laughs> di ba? Yes. Nandun uh, na yung utak mo, no? Pero hindi ko yun pinlano, G. Ano oh. naman yun? Um, masaya pala. Well, to answer the question, masaya palang mag-attend ng festival na pelikula mo yung pinapanood. <laughs> pero nakaka uh, at the same time, nakakakaba. nakakakaba parang... Mm. Uh, hindi ka makahinga kasi baka mamay hindi nila magustuhan. But at the end of the day, sabi ko nga sa sarili ko, basta ginawa ko siya, it doesn't matter anymore if they like it or not. Kasi mm -hmm. wala ka naman magawa na rin eh, hindi mo naman mabago yun. Uh, yung sa full-length feature, wala talaga. Ang sabi ng iba, kaya ka gumawa ng short film kasi gusto mong gumawa ng full feature. No, that's not true. I, I was going to ask, no? so talaga. yung short film, matagal na 2011, iniisip mo. But yes. the feature, kailan mo lang yun uh, is inisip o I was on the internet. I saw, this, I, I saw this video of this girl sharing her story. And right there and then, tumawag ako kay Pat Pat with matching bad words. <laughs> Alam mo, kung gagawa ako ng feature film, eto na yon, eto na yon. Uh, Why? Because it's a story about a woman who has, who has shared unconditional love for this man. And in my world as a lawyer, where there are so many people fighting about support, about annulment, about mm. uh, mana mana, and I see overflowing love in the story of this woman, madadala ka eh. Parang, you wanna do something that's positive for a change? Mm. So, so can, can you tell us about the conceptualization yeah. of that? So you saw this ah. bit and then, okay. sulat ba agad? Um, or? Pinasulat ko siya kay Christine Barameda. Um, mm -hmm. we, submit, uh, we were able to submit a treatment to Cinemalaya. Uh, kinalimut nakalimutan ko na yun eh. As in, nag-submit lang kami. Tapos, oh, sige, kung makuha, okay. Kung hindi, hindi. Oh my God, nagulat ako. Tumawag sila. Napili siya among the semi-finalists. I think there were 20 or 22 of us na kinuha na semi-finalists. And then, doon ako natakot. Sabi ko, shocks, ano tong pinasok ko? <laughs> Totoo na to. <laughs> <laughs> hindi, ko, hindi na to lokohan. And then, um... Uh, I had to find another writer kasi si Christine has never been in a relationship. <laughs> so, hindi niya kaya... Kilala ko si Christine, so parang... Oh, okay. <laughs> so, no, 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 okay. Hindi niya kaya... Pero the fact na babae, uh, I thought... Ano, I, pero yung pala, eh, walang paghuhugutan. Eh, oh, walang paghuhugutan, eh. Mm. So, um, ano yun? Um, tumakbo kay Ricky Lee. Um, for many, many years kasi Ricky Lee and I have been classmates in acupuncture. Oh. So, yun, um, I ran to him and asked him for help. Kasi this is not the kind of movie that Bing Lao will approve. <laughs> <laughs> ang ganda, so, ang ganda niya. Hindi na ako nag-isip na lumapit oh, kay Bing. Kay Ricky uh, na. Tumakbo kay Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, um, nagsulat si, I chose Therese Kayaba because I thought mm. she was a very good writer. She did Delia and Sami. Yes. And I love the script of Delia and Sami. And sabi ko, this is the kind of nuances that I want in the film. Light lang siya, but merong sinasabi. And then, nagsulat siya. Nung pumating kami kay Ricky, naku, nalecturan kami ng katakot-tako. <laughs> as in, X lahat. As in, wala tang natira sa sa script na sinulat. So, we started um, discussing kung ano ba yung pwedeng gawin, etc., etc. And then, yun na, maraming ideas na pumasok. And then, from there, rewrite, mga 50% na yung approved. So, again, rewrite some more. And then, before I started shooting, 70% was approved. So, I decided na yung 30%, I will re we will write as it as along. we went along. Kasi, mm -hmm. I needed to feel muna the characters as we would right. do the film. And true enough, ang daming nagbago. Oh. Na to a point na parang, sabi ko nga, siguro panahon na talaga, kasi everything was falling into place. All the ideas that, that, that entered um, into the script as we were shooting, wala yun sa original eh. Ang original kasi is... Um, an older woman falling for a younger man. Ganun lang ka, ka basic ang premise. But hindi naman pwedeng manipis. Sinimalaya to. <laughs> hindi pwede. So we had to input 
so many ideas along the way to make it uh, more layered. And as it, I, I even had to consult a psychologist because my my lead actress, the ca my lead character rather, is a psychologist. So kailangan yung mindset din ng isang oh, psychologist pa ipasok ko. So an laki rin ng tulong ni Dr. Saplala because um, sabi niya, Tama itong pasok mo rito. Ito, this is wrong. Psychologists do not do this. So, yon, we have to correct those things. So, would you characterize yung ano, directorial style? So, second feature na ngayon, no? And you've done mm -hmm. a short uh, film. First feature pa lang. Uh, oh, first nga, feature. Feature na nga. <laughs> <laughs> feature na. And then, um, ah, okay. So, uh, um, and but in some of the credits, creative producer nakalagay, no? In your, uh, in other work. So, um, is this a smooth transition a from... A film by. Ganun oh, yan, no, no? Uh, uh, O iba ka bang producer, iba kang director, no? Uh, um, how would you characterize kung anong klase kang director? Ang unang sinabi sa akin ni Pat, who is my producer, um, itabi ko muna daw ang pagka-producer ko. Kasi every time na naglo-location hunting kami, naku Pat, magkano itong location? Nagko-compute ka na, no? <laughs> Sino artista magkano TF niyan? Parating ah, ganun. Sabi oh, niya, dapat tanggalin mo na yan. Mm. Kasi hindi natin matatapos to pag ganun ang mindset mo. So, I tried to remove that. Talagang, wala. Hindi ko na siya muna inisip oh, ko. Oo, kasi yung, yung director nakikipaglaban sa producer. Oo, oh, oh, eh. Para makuha niya. <laughs> Gusto niya. Ito, <laughs> yeah, ito ako. Ito, ako. Oo, oh, oh, eh. Kasi syempre, oh, mas nice din yung pulis ako. <laughs> Ay, oh. But everything just fell into place. Even our final day of shoot, which we did in Marinduque, that was a suggestion of direct Marlon Rivera, who is one of my actors in this film. Oh, wow. Ah, yes. okay. Oh. Sabi niya, you know, I have the perfect place for you. When I saw the, sh the, the photos of his Balay Lahi, which, is co which he owns together with Cholo Laurel, oh, so I go, oh yes. no, this is really the perfect picture of what I want in that particular scene. So, nag-work talaga siya. Mm. I, I'm, Super I'm, happy. I'm listening to you, no? So, ang... Um, Meron talagang parang community or like people close to you, no? And and when the, I read the credits of films you've produced, so ito yung mga, yung mga sila, tao sila talaga. talagang, no? um, oh, ang ganda na Actually, that you're able you, to make that. You have that, a community, ano, eh, uh, yeah. na talagang. Sobra. Ano, um, oh. Siguro, natutuwa lang din sila at ayaw nila ako mag-fail, kaya tinutulungan nila ako. And I guess also, <laughs> kind of, support na, pumasok. <laughs> a kind of giving back, no? Because you've oh. also supported a lot of these, I, I guess, concepts na walang mag-risk before, no? And, sana, and, yeah. sana. <laughs> um, yes. So, so, ano, ano, so uh, the, did this ano, add up or come along uh, along the way? So, sila Jeffrey sa una, sila Bing, I guess from the beginning, no? and then yes. sila Chris, sila Marlon. No? Um, how do you foresee itong mga susunod pa na uh, uh, taon? No? So, uh, do you see more... Uh, the same directorial people, work and, and more know. producing of these um, other people's work. If if possible, I'd like to produce Paren Sana in the coming years. Um, at least one film and hopefully two films a year. Yun uh -huh. ang dream ko. And Sana I can also produce or still support some alternative films that will catch my my attention. <laughs> could could you say kung sino sa mga ah, kung ano sa mga pelikulang na produce mo ang Gustong gusto mo siya. You would say, uh, ex exceptionally, you like it over the many films you've produced. Cubrador would always Cubrador. stand out. Yeah. Eh. Mm -hmm. Kasi, um, it's a beautiful film. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's gonna be there for a, for a long, long time. That's right. So, I'm glad, no? Uh, Attorney Georgie, uh, I would like to say na, you have given so much to filmmaking, and that's really something. Uh, but at the same time, we want to look forward to the <laughs> many other films <laughs> that you will be involved with. Sana magustuhan so, niya itong aking ano, oh, likula. Nakakatuwa naman. So, bago doon, uh, meron kasi tayo mga tatanong na mga maiiksing tanong. So, sino pa sa Philippine cinema na producer ang gusto mo yung trabaho? Executive producer. Oh my lord. <laughs> Mahirap tatanong. Marami <laughs> sila. Marami sila. Marami sila. Um, oh, top of head. Oh, yung, the first thing that comes I like June Lana's films. Oh, okay. Ako naman, they wish to be like Mother Lily Monteverde. There will never be any other Mother Lily Monteverde. I wouldn't even want to be close to her kasi ang taas. Ang taas. She survived for so long and 
uh, if there's anything that I would like to be likened to her, I am a fan of films. Because that's what I am. What is your favorite Filipino film all time? It will have to be Maynila sa mga kuko ng liwanag. How about contemporary Filipino film? Contemporary. Hmm. Marami-rami na yan. <laughs> um... I especially like the film of Bing Lau, um, Biyahing Lupa. Even if they didn't really make the festival rounds because it was more of sound, eh, sound design, and people would just be reading the subtitles. Iba siya eh. Mm -hmm. um, iba. iba okay. siya. Favorite actor? Favor oh, wala eh. Favorite actress? Vilma Santos. <laughs> Extra, di ba? Ikaw yes. Lang. Okay. Dream project to to direct. Wala pa. Hindi pa. It hasn't crossed yet. Okay. It hasn't crossed my mind yet. Kasi, uh, like I mentioned, na napanood ko lang yung video na I got so inspired by it. I wanted to do it. So, it will come. It will come. But of of the cup, I hindi ko kaya magdirect ng pelikula about corruption. Parang natatakot ako. <laughs> baka ako ano pa? Baka malalana yung ipaglalagay ko don. Baka makulung na ako joke ne. But uh, really, it's it's. Uh, I like more personal stories. Mas gusto ko siya. Parang yun yung kaya ko ng gawin. Mga ganong mas matataas pa. Mga Jeffrey yan, mga brilliante. <laughs> oh, so. Attorney Joji, maraming maraming salamat. Thank you, Dinji. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat Thank you. din sa inyo. Uh, salamat sa ating mga manonood sa isang oras na na naman pagtutok sa ating programa. Sana'y nakapagbigay kami ng aliw at kaalaman sa inyong lahat. Samahan ninyo kami muli sa susunod na paghahatid namin ng mga personalidad mula sa larangan ng pelikula, telebisyon at teatro dito sa tvup.ph. Ako si Patrick F. Campos. At ako si Dr. Gigi Javier Alfonso. Hanggang sa muli, ito ang Sine Pinoy.